<laughs> All right, just five hours left almost in 2013. Uh, that will stay and uh, not on TV. All right, just a short time left to try and put the year into some perspective here. And right now, we're asking how will you remember uh, the year that uh, is just about to be over here and what will the political yearbook say on the cover? Uh, Jeannie, um, if there was one overarching, I guess, theme for the year, what would it be? Government dysfunction, ineptitude, disgust and dismay yep. with government. I mean, it is not just Congress. It's the presidency. It is, you know, almost every branch of government people are disgusted by and, you know, don't really feel hopeful that the government can do anything at this point. And I think we're going to see that play out at the polls as we go into 2014. <coughs> um, there has been a thought that if, I mean, Ross Perot had the money, but, uh, you know, there was some curiosity. It never really sustained itself. But we are at a tipping point. There'll never be a third party, as much as people want to believe there will be, I think. But there could be somebody that could tap into the frustration with the polarization that there is now, um, because the country is in the middle, right? Do you think there's something there? I mean, that somebody could find a way to get their hands right? And if they ever did, then the parties would be forced to come back to the table because they'd be consequences. Yeah, I think if the parties don't come back to the table, I mean, we have the highest number of people in the United States that are now not you know, not associated with either political party. Yeah. The last time we saw this kind of disgust was in the early 1990s, and that's when we got Ross Perot. So I think it's possible <coughs> now they won't win, they won't have a chance of, of taking the White House, but they could certainly, you know, force the parties to try to come back and, and to, you know, really deal with the issues that people want them to deal with. People want, first of all, they want people to deal with we, the economy and we, that has not been done in either party i mean the focus has been congress I, with a, a third party president we, we're not going to have I mean, a third but party but, party. Let, let, let but what happens this. is the umbre we, the umbrella parties will eat up that third party issue and they will move on it and we could we, see something but like we rejected that. ross perot yeah, 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 absolutely. just because you run doesn't mean you're yeah, part of the do it you know I, I met with mitt romney mm -hmm. eight years ago 12 years ago whatever it was when he, when he was governor at that point looking at running for president early on and we asked him, it was a private meeting, asked him, how do you get things done in Massachusetts? You're Republican, it's all Democrats. He goes, I lead. I build up a bully pulpit, I have public support, I see where I can get things done, and they follow me. And other times he can't get things done, but that's what he did and how he did it. That's one of the reasons I, I, I picked, uh, at this point, Obama's decline in, in this year and where it was. Here was a man that got reelected for a second term. You have 18 months, generally speaking, as a second-term a second term president to get things done, and he declined so fast. Right now, his favorable number is 43, unfavorable is 55, and this guy couldn't get anything done. Obamacare was just the tail end of it. And you have, as you point out, Congress has their own, their own malfunction right now going on, and, and whether it's lack of leadership because he can't, Boehner can't get his people behind him, or Reid can't do the same thing in the Senate, this president should have been able to step up and say, I'm here, this is where we're going to go, and built up pop popular yeah. support I, I, and he I, couldn't I, get that I think done. at the Those end I think at the end tie. you might <laughs> they are right elephants on my thigh yes however a lot easier said than done as, as we like to say Dominic takes two to tango but what do you think defines this year um, because for many it was a lost year for the president whether fair or not at the end of the day it was it was a Toughest year since you've been I, elected. I hate to end the year disagreeing with my buddy OB, but that's the way it's got to be. Oh, why, stop now? Yeah. why stop now? We're going into the oh. new year. But I mean, I hear you, my brother. I really do hear you. <laughs> but as Richard just said, what's the president going to do? I'm going to tell you my topic. But how is he going <laughs> to tango by himself? How is he going to tango by himself? I mean, some of the Republicans in Washington. As you already know, their number one priority is to sit on their hands and make sure Obama has no accomplishments. But with that said, I want to go back Can to... Can I the step in here? I guess not. <laughs> oh, no, 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 oh, I thought we were on my time. I thought we were on my time. Yeah. I'm, not, Dominic what, I'm, I'm not seeing the floor. <laughs> Going back to dysfunction. Dysfunction Why are you pointing at Jeannie? No, no, no. no, no. Her topic yeah. was dysfunction. It was dysfunction. No, oh yeah, that's not good, right? Okay, dysfunction. Dysfunction. I'm going back to dysfunction. I'm sorry. Your face is strong, Dominic. It's your yeah, way to I, go I, out. I kind, of, I kind of blew it there, Richard. But, but going back to dysfunction, um, you got to put health care with that, obviously. Absolutely, yeah. And so, yeah. I mean, because yeah. health care, seriously now, is something that impacts all of us. Mm -hmm. And the one thing the president did do wrong is that Richard, it's now part of his legacy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. It could be the greatest thing since Social Security. It's always going to be said he's that they screwed up the, the beginning. Other. Yep. So, Andrew, so serious and so depressing. This is New Year's Eve, people. We, we, we've drank uh, in the first half of the show, and now we're coming off of, a, of the champagne. Well, and, and there may be another option for you soon, because I'm going <laughs> with the, the tipping point on marijuana. 
uh, in 20, I think we're going to look back and this will be the year that it became inevitable that it was going to be legalized across much of the country. Uh, and that I think the, the poll that came out that had 60% favorability, 60% of support for Is legalization. This just wishful thinking I never thought. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's it's getting more. Yes. 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 Earlier in the program, the numbers mimic that of, of same sex marriage. I never thought. I am right, and, and I never thought. <laughs> always. Always. He yeah. I mean, he bought Doritos. I, That's I, what that I was. I never thought we'd reach a point where I, where I would actually think it's going to happen, and now I do. It's It seems like that's just where people yeah. are, and, and it. You know, it's going to be very interesting. As of tomorrow, Colorado and Washington State start recreational sales of it. It's going to be a very interesting experiment in those two states. But I think this is the year that. Are you going uh, to cover the story from, from there next week? I keep, I keep Don't give me any ideas. Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> just from my end, uh, to come back to your point, Nancy Pelosi, I think we can all agree, she called this the big suck, which was Washington <laughs> this year. And that, from start to finish, for 12 months, nothing, there was no. Nothing got done. There was a, a glee in terms of being obstructionary. Um, we're, we're worse as a country for it. Uh, people wanted to take us over fiscal cliffs, like that was a sign of pride. I'm just hoping this next year will be better, but unfortunately, I think that's how we remember 2013. And on that uplifting note, we will wrap <laughs> things up um, on the year that was right after this. Stay with us.